Hiya ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Warframe. Today we are going to be showcasing Enoros, which Enoros is this badass like Egyptian based frame. He's getting real gross, he's touching us, he's got this weird stance that makes him like take up an eighth of the screen, it's really weird. Um, but yes, Enoros, the mummy king himself. Yeah, or the Pharaoh, or whatever it is. I'm not gonna also, we have a Master Rank uh, 11 test. So, or, yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> now, let us get into Noros. First of all, what is his deal, um, and all that? Well, first of all, for the first thing that matters, it's Fashion Frame, baby. <laughs> so, we're gonna look at what he's got in his skin pack and what and whatnot. To be honest, the one that costs, like, Canadian dollars, which is, this is the more pricey version, uh, and typically looks better, but I, in a couple of these Warframes that we've been using, I find it not not so much. Like this one, I find it's more of like his Egyptian pharaoh or like, what's his name? Anubis? I don't know. It's like the guy who's like a bird face, you know? He's in Smite and all that shit. Anyways, regardless, this one I find much more palatable. Um, it's more metallic. Okay, well, the skin I have on it looks like trash, but maybe if we do one of these. Yeah, there it is. See? Boom. Look at that. Way better. Way better. You got these little exhaust pipes on your hands. You got like a. You don't have like just a, a giant neck, or if you do, it has like. It makes sense, right? It's like some sort of weird crown. Uh, yeah. Regardless, I'm not. I'm not sure if I want to go that deep into picking Anoros's stuff. So we're just going to go with our creepy little boy for right now. <laughs> All right. Um, as for his uh, helmets, I think there's nothing too too crazy. In fact, a lot of his helmets I think are pretty trash, like a weird horse. You have this weird... This one looks not bad, only because it has, like, teeth, like, right here. And it has, like, a crown. Still kind of bad. And then there's, there's this one, which... What? <laughs> like, I just want a normal fucking head. He's got this weird, like, giant eight neck, and then he's got his head, which is just a nightmare. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I've said regardless too many times. Abilities! Ah, boy, a Noros. All right, well, first of all, he's basically the sand god, like a, 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 a mummy, essentially. All right, also, look at that screenshot me. Boom, take it. Great. Sorry, it's always really hard to get screenshots or thumbnails. Um, yeah, so then he has this ability. Basically, we just get a good old handful of dust and sand and dirt, and we just whip it in people's eyes, uh, causing a mass blind, uh, which is pretty great. Now, I don't think this covers behind us, so it's not quite as good as, uh, uh what's his name? Excalibur's kind of jam, but it's pretty good. Uh, also, it doesn't take up that much uh, ability. Also, it says it has life steal, which I don't really feel. It says that, yeah, you blind them and then steals their health. Yeah, I don't really feel like the steals health thing happens, but maybe that's just because I'm not fighting high enough enemies or like the damage that I, I deal on a base level doesn't really warrant that much health. I don't know. Regardless, this one. Devour is some next level shit. Devour synchronizes with this one, which is your like ability to throw a bunch of bugs at people, which is pretty dope. Anyways, Devour, essentially, you hold down this ability, and you can regain a shit ton of health. Uh, not only that, but you basically stop a person in their tracks, I think regardless of level. So if there's, like, this big, badass enemy, you can just throw this on them, and they'll be freaking out while we're getting devoured by dust or sand. Um, and if you fully devour them, then you actually bring them to your side, which is a gimmick that I don't really... I don't care about. <laughs> I just... We're mainly there for just the insane health regeneration that that gives. Then we have Sandstorm, potentially one of the most useless things I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know what it does besides just like a very, very tiny amount of damage. Maybe I'm not using it right. But yeah, we spin around, throwing people around, almost definitely not killing them. Yeah. And this is his main ability. This ability, this ability, and then mainly this ability. So this is the ability that we're going to be spamming. This is the ability that's going to help work our armor up to be a, a nonsense level. Which, if you guys don't know, Anora essentially is a crazy, crazy tank frame. Um, his passive is while bleeding out, Enoris becomes uh, invulnerable um, while being in a coffin. And if any enemies around him die, he will basically be brought back, which is kind of cool. It's like a second wind um, if your allies want to help and all that stuff. Cool. What is this? Uh, his, his, like, ult. Uh, well, first of all, it's an ult that requires 25 um, power, so pretty cheap to cast. Um, and essentially, what you do is you start sacrificing your own health for incredible armor. Um, now... Uh, this creates like these little scarab swarm, basically bugs. A bunch of these bugs start flying around you, uh, and you can basically cast them at people to to uh, sick them on them. Yeah, anyone who survives um, has their health drained and uh, bestowed to allies. So basically, you can like use this ability to heal other heal your friends if they're super weak. But mainly, that's kind of useless. You basically want to max out the skill so that you have armor, like a crazy crazy amount of armor 
all the time. So that's what you kind of want to do with this ability. That's what it seems. Um, you don't want to actually use a Scarab Swarm. Maybe there's a build with that, which could be pretty fun. If there was any like sort of special mod that changed this to make it so like any enemy affected by this would uh, become a part of your like your Sand Legion, then that would be kind of cool. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, yeah, you shouldn't actually cast your Sparabs. Although we will, just to kind of showcase some shit, you know. As of mods, don't got a lot of great ones. As per the dorm. You're right in my ear always, always. Durability, we're going with durability. Duration, sorry, uh, because um, I believe blind uh, gets affected by this, which is the main thing that we're going to want, so that when we blind people, they stay blind for longer. We got some health, uh, we got some steel fiber, which we haven't leveled up because I have no points to begin with. <laughs> um, also, I didn't really find I was going down with the Noros to begin with, so I will invest in these when I start putting him in super end tier content, which I haven't done yet. Um, we also have rage because uh, he has a shit ton of base health, so that health will just be going right back into power, which will be getting me to cast that blind, which is why we also have stretch, is because that blinding thing uh, requires a shit ton of range in order to make it somewhat useful and fun and then I assume more durability on here because I didn't know what else to put uh, yes we have intensity which I don't think he scales with power strength necessarily um, ability strength yeah I don't think any of that really f plays with him efficiency maybe although he doesn't like a lot of his abilities don't ask for a lot and especially with how much health we have we're gonna be getting hit a lot we're gonna be getting our power back it just seems to work fine with this now is this perfect absolutely not I'm just working with shitty parts here all right <laughs> we're making the best out of what we have uh, which is to say not a lot um, also th some things with me like as just a little passive update uh, I did some research looked into it um, not like a crazy amount <laughs> just a little bit enough to where my interest got peaked um, and my first weapon that I thought okay this weapon seems like it can it can be pretty good for like mid to like little bit of end um, end tier which is this one um, the full the full min uh, but also because I like meleeing so much uh, it kind of works because it's a chargeable weapon so basically you empty your magazine and then it'll charge back in a couple seconds uh, and yeah, it just seems like a great fun weapon. It can be it can be converted to a shotgun or a very very fast assault rifle. So I'm gonna be using that when it when it's done, and then I'll be making a video of it, and then we're gonna be using this right here. Also, oh sorry, this one is like a basically just a missile barrage assault rifle. It's great. Uh, it looks so fun to, to play with. Again, a lot of the weapons I'm cho showing you guys are like just good enough, <laughs> but they're also really fun. This one I have high hopes for too. I haven't actually seen anyone use it. I just seen that a person in my party was farming for it and I and he got it and then that means I got two and he was like I am so happy I got it so maybe it's it's worth something I don't know <laughs> but neat um, it, I love explosive weapons and that seems to be what these both are so I'm absolutely jazzed <laughs> about it regardless this is about a Noros so let's go get into that also I'm not sure if I chose the right like weird I'm a zombie mummy kind of thing it's more zombie than it is mummy with this whole like crumpling over kind of thing regardless we're gonna do a mission uh, that I didn't really know how to do. It's called a disruption. It's where like you have these bunch of these locks, I guess, on the map. You have to bring a key to them, which is pretty obvious. Right, that's it. You have to uh, like. There's gonna be a boss, like a super, super, super tanky enemy, um, that appears on the map that will try to go to that that special key lock thing and blow it up. Uh, so you got to kill him before he gets there. So it's kind of like a mixture of a survival, but also a like defense mission. And it gives you a shit ton of rewards. That's all I know. Also, so as soon as we get in the match, we're going to start converting our health for armor. Just vic vicious armor. All right, but we don't want to get absolutely wrecked. Um, let me just go off to the corner here. Keep uh, keep piling that on. Now we have max armor, which is pretty great. Now we need to feast on some shit. So we're eating this man. We're eating him. And we're going to eat him so much that he becomes one of the bads. We need to find a bigger enemy to devour because we need more health because we always need more health hey yeah hey friend gonna eat ya gonna also we're immune when we're eating which is just dope also you I'll eat you as well eat ya eat you and your friend and we also make friends now until you get a big ass ooh that's what we want that's what we want why can't I eat you there it is let me eat you you'll be coming over to my side hey yo we're maxed out on health. Okay, so just like that, we have a ton of health. And now we have a ton of armor. And we're just cooking with gasoline. If I had the mods that made me even more tanky, it would be great. Now, is this the best game mode for a Noros? Probably not. Actually, maybe. Maybe when we, we can, like, blind the boss. Although, I feel like the boss is just kind of, like, they never stop charging to the, the point. So, you need something like a person who can put a dome around it or something. Although, I feel like they'll just walk through it. I don't know. Regardless, blind you. He's blind. Whatever. <laughs> Let's kill him all the same. 
I think anyone who, who is blind actually takes, uh, like, weaken, like, or, like, critical damage, because technically we're invisible to him. Which is pretty dope! Also, Anoros, yeah, I wish, I wish Anoros got some cooler skins that made him look more like a mummy. Like, I'm talking, like, garb, like, uh, cloth, sorry, <laughs> not garb, <laughs> cloth. Like, like, mucky-looking cloth, like a, like a mummy. Not like, uh, like some sort of weird space techno thing. Like, also, give, give, give me the iconic mummy helmet, you know what I mean? Like the, uh, like the, the, like the just human face wrapped in garb kind of thing. Not some sort of weird long neck ass bastard. Also, why are we leaving so early in, in the shit of it? So, anyways, you guys can see that there's a bunch of bugs flying around me. That's the, uh, the armor buff that we got going right now. But if we wanted, because people want to extract, we could throw our bug at him. And it would be dealing damage, and if we killed you, it'd be giving lifesteal to our allies, I believe. But you can see up in my, right beside my health. Um, also, what was I saying? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh right. So we want to get build that back. We want to keep that up to 100% armor, cause, uh, cause it's just better. It's just better that way. Also, that guy can, is gonna leave by himself, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which you know what, do him, all right? And, and he left, and now we can just keep going. Cause that's how this game mode works. Pretty nice that you don't get like pulled from the encounter. They made a patch of that in the future, or in the past. You know what I'm trying to say. Don't look at me. Boom. Invisible. Boom. More of more sand in your face. Also, the very, very tiny amount of lifesteal. Like this. Yeah, see, I don't think we do- we don't have any power strength, so <laughs> I don't think that ability does any damage, so it just kind of seems real- real shit, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Again, I, I think I've seen a build where, like, you're mainly supposed to work on armor. Like, uh, yeah, it seems like people just build this- uh, frame to be just an insane an insane tank which I'm starting to realize is is good but it's again like playing Octavia it's way more to have like something that's specific to a game mode you know what I mean um, like the game mode where it's like a defense so being invisible um, and putting down like a super big AOE thing is invaluable because uh, you can just set that up and just profit forever you know what I mean did that make any sense I hope it makes sense but they're doing this one I'm gonna try to do this my own might be bad. <laughs> be pretty bad. Also, you want to spread out when you're in this game mode because the the boss can be anywhere, um, and he'll he'll get marked on the map if people's in if he's in line of sight of somebody. I gotta chill out. Ooh, where is he? Ooh, did you kill him? I can barely see my map because my FPS recorder counter is there. Don't ask. The whole thing. I did want to blind the boss though for one of these to see. If it's it's a, if it's a problem or not, if it's a just a dr giant tremendous oof, or oh, for more or less fine. Oh, there he is! Ooh, did he get it? Nope, no. Nope. Somehow you guys killed him. Nice. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna throw dirt in your face. Oh, they just killed you <laughs> immediately. I mean, I was trying to have some like mercy. Maybe not. Maybe it's I'm more cruel <laughs> and I'm trying to torture you before you die. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Throw in dirt. Yeah, I, I really would love like uh, power. What do you call it? Range? More range mods? Because I could see that being pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Also, the range of that is pretty good though. You know what I mean? But having a little more range where you can basically like blanket cover the map would be pretty great. Although I don't know if it's like if if there's a wall, it won't go through. I think it still will. Like up there. Yeah, see, we still got that person all the way over there. So I think it's, I think it counts. You can go through walls, which would be nice. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense because <laughs> we're throwing sand, but you know. Oh, also, Anora's was super easy to get. I mean, actually, no, nah, it's not true. His, his quest was kind of weird with like the half, how you have to like specifically kill people. I mean, it was consistent. So you'll, you're going to get him if you do this stuff. I, and I think if you weren't trying to like do it all in one hour or two, uh, then it would probably be faster. <laughs> you know, that's probably on me <laughs> a lot. That person has such high AOE, man. <laughs> He's all the way over there killing shit all the way over there. Woo! Did they point out the bad? The big bad boss? And you're all blinded by the dirt or sand. Mostly sand, because we're Egyptian, whateverness. We could try to go do this by ourselves, because I just want to fight or see if I can, like, stop one of them people. Dust. I want to see if my, my dust, my like throw dirt in your face, uh, and like step on a gun wound kind of thing. Uh, just violence. <laughs> so I'm getting at like just a creep who's <laughs> like super torturous. Uh, that can stop 
one of these things. One of these uh, big bads. Because I, I think this this game mode could, could be very specific for a special kind of playstyle. Or a Warframe that can like put down a dome that won't let enemies get to this stuff. We did the one though without a, uh, like, you know, much of a problem. Give me this blue one. We are on wave three. Apparently when we get to like a little higher up, it gets a bit nutty. Also, we have 4,000 health. And we can have more if I wanted. But I haven't really felt like we even got touched with 4,000, you know? You're all blind. The duration of that, I'm hoping, lasts an amount of time. <laughs> I, I feel like I have too much duration, though. I feel like durations... I think someone was explaining to me on, like, build-wise, it has, like, diminishing returns on certain things. So maybe it's, like, efficiency's better so that you can just spam it over again and not have to do all the weirdness, you know? We have a blue one. But we don't have any other one, though, so we need to grab this. Put that in there. That is. Don't let them near the conduit. Don't tell me I live my life. Hey, just for fun, let's do this. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yes! It's so much energy gone for such a stupid thing. <laughs> if you want to think of our like our scarabs got like empowered into damage, so you need to like prime that ability before you could actually make use of that ability, really. That'd be fine, but no. <laughs> it's not like that, I don't think. And again, I'm sure there's a bit- Ooh! He killed him. <laughs> I play with people that are too good. I can't even do- I just want to throw some dirt in some, like, zombie monster fight faces, and they're like, Excuse me? How dare you? You will do nothing when playing with me. And I'm like, I am I want you as a friend, because of how much you're taking care of me, but also, you're not letting me grow or experience anything. Tax and die? Fucking course, Tax and die. Tax can only live if I'm playing what's-her-name, because, you know, she's invisible, and no one ever- And he's also invisible, but... Yeah. Yeah. Man, it'd be really nice if it was just like a, a bot that never died. Like it was just like, hey, I just pull items to you. That's all my only job. I'm like, that's all I really need you for. So that'd be great. Boom, dirt in face. Boom, boom, and that's how you do it. I don't. Well, you don't have to do melee. You probably could shoot some shit. Um, and yeah, but you know, your boy likes his melee. Grin, you never do like melee combos. Well, the one I have isn't really good for melee combos, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Give me the blue one. Where is it? Over here? Thank you kindly. Have some dirt. I'll make you slow down for a little bit. Give people a break who are going for one thing or another. Put it in the thing! Nice! We got that one that fast? Jeez Louise. Give me the red, I guess. Do 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 do. Also, when enemies hit you, you're just like, please, <laughs> please, are you shitting me? How dare you even look at me, alright? <laughs> you realize I have 4,000 health. Trash, <laughs> okay? And, ba I said, ba Um, also, I'm real hungry, so I'm gonna eat you alive. Ha da 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 da. Bring him, give me that health, boom. I'm not gonna go ahead and put you in a weird devour state because it'll take too long. Uh, maybe that's why I should invest in power strength. Although I don't, yeah, I don't think like devouring people and making them your like a part of your legion is viable unless there's a mod that can convert like enemies affected by blind or come back, have a chance of coming back as like a, a member of your like undead army, which would be so fucking sick if that was the case. Oh shit, I blinded you. It didn't work. It doesn't work on them. Oh, it doesn't work. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Guys, guys. Okay. Yep. It's fucked. We, we died. Yep. He, uh, it'll complete it in time, though. Although it is shit that we can't, like, stop him, you know? I wonder if I was playing a Noros and I stuck one of my tethers to him if that would have stopped him. Hmm. It's pretty shit that that didn't do it, because it's a blind. Every other enemy it decides to be like, nope. No, no, no. You're now blind and can't do anything. And you can't hit me because you don't know where I am. Theoretically, you could just thrash and I'd probably get hit because you know you're like a giant monster, but still. So everyone uses this electric weapon that I feel like is probably really good and I probably should use. Um, it's just like electric nonsense kind of weapon. Yeah, that guy's using it. I don't know if I, uh, if it's like, I think it's probably like a, a, like a, a Tano group. What is it called? Uh, like a, a guild? Or whatever, uh, but I unfortunately I had one that was like half built that someone just invited me and I just built a bunch of shit And I was like, thank you very much 
Uh, and now I don't have anything because <laughs> they kicked me out because I haven't played for like two years. So if I understand, <laughs> I understand the sentiment. Still, ugh. I wonder if my O ability will would like stop a, a person from rushing me. There's one over there. It's going. Did you get it? You got it. Nice. They call us betrayers? Oh, I think it's because, yeah, the Grenier. Yeah, I think that, and like that was a sleeping the dream, whatever it was. So the second dream or the war with him. I think it was a war with him. She's like, we created you. Ugh. And we're like, die in a fire. And she's like, you, what? Surprise Pikachu face? After I was like deciding to control you and kill all of you? What? How could it possibly happen? Oh shit, my armor went away. I guess it does have a duration. Let me eat myself. That's okay. <laughs> you know, nah. Boom! Some more power. I'm gonna eat you now. Gonna eat, 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 They're leaving. Somebody is leaving. He's a part of my weird sand army. I really should look into a build, build, if there is any build for Anoros, because I, as much as the, uh, like, I'm, I can never die because I'm God, like, tankiness is neat. Um, I do wish, like, it'd be so cool if you could, like, make an army of sand people, even if it was weak as shit. That'd be just awesome to play. Um, like, I was hoping that would be, what's his name? Um, Remnant? I think Remnant isn't like that, though. Or maybe I've just seen, like, super, super end-tier builds that are, like, so good that they're not fun because they only buff, like, one thing. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we, we, like, do all this crazy-ass shit, but I feel like we should just go because I don't really see... How many people are still with us after this person leaves? <laughs> Ooh, it's just us. Maybe I should leave too. I didn't know it was just us. <laughs> also, doing it, I get, I see what people leave though. Uh, doing it past like round six, just, and we start getting into like the fifties, and it just becomes, and the, and the bosses start becoming way, way more like, uh oh. So you need to have one of those level up weapons in order to really make things happen. So I feel like I'll leave too. I will say that's kind of that's kind of weird. Like the fact that I gotta wait fifteen um, seconds just to get like, or not fifteen, fifty seconds, basically a minute. Uh, just to leave, even though, like, there's no negative for me leaving. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't fuck him up, besides just, like, he can leave whenever he wants, you know? It'll just migrate host. Doesn't do a lot of damage, because I don't think I have power strength, or maybe you just gotta shoot them, and then he'll give me a portion of that health back. Yeah. So I think that's kind of the thing, is you want to, like, get your scarabs to eat you, then throw them back, throw them at enemies. Maybe with, like, power strength, that would, like, the conversion rate would be better. Also, I'm having a bad hair day. The whole thing. All right. I've been grinding all morning. I've been trying to get these weapons. I was grinding the, uh, to try to get the, I think it's Volts, no, not Volts, get Goss, Goss's weapon, which is like a, a crazy cool, also look at me, look at many things we got, like relics. So this is a good way to get relics as well, I was hearing that a person say that, um, but, uh, I don't, I don't know if it's as efficient, because it, yeah, 17 minutes, one, two, three, four, whereas we could just do that, that capture mission in a minute, so we'd be able to get 17 of these rather than just the four, so. I still think it is better to get the other one, but you're also farming a ton of enemies that way, like uh, like this, and getting plasteeds and all that stuff. Imagine if you build Necros, it'll be even better, so yeah, who knows. Also, oh, this guy left too. Oh, I didn't know I, he was leaving with me. That's my bad, I didn't know. Uh, but, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is that guy. Also, can I buy that one weapon that I see everyone use? It's like an electricity weapon. I cannot. Yes, yes, well, you need to buy uh, it in the, in like the special store. Oh, but it is Master Rank 10, so I could have bought it. If only I had a dojo. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think you need to buy a dojo to get it. But I see a lot of people use this, and I think it's like high crit base you could build it for, and it would just wreck. Um, so that's, you know. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, what I was trying to say is uh, the good news is that there's not too many weapons locked behind Master anymore. Uh, Master Rank 11. The ones I've seen that uh, that are or Master Rank 13 uh, is the next thing. Oh, Master Rank 14. The stick. Weird as a stick gun. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, Enoros. Uh, a lovely frame. Again, uh, it was the, one of the frames I wanted to get because he is like known for being ungodly tanky. Uh, like, he, I think it's, it's not even just that. Like, not only does he have a crazy amount of health, but he has an ability that like crazy supersedes his armor. And then you have mods that you can put on him that gives him even more armor. Um, also, um,. Holy shit, this is just a side thing. Um, I was like, oh, okay, I have that Oricon reactor, and I've, I've I think I've decided that I'm going to use it on Octavia just because I feel like she's kind of like my frame at this point. I, I like her kit. I still got to invest in, like, finding the music and, like, like hovering over her manticore and putting them all in. 
because yeah, the downloading of that is weird. Look how much I did not know how much power you get. Like, we went from like 30 or 45 or 44 uh, power capacity, and then by putting one of these Orican reactors, we dropped it got 30, and I was just like, what? <laughs> we just got 30 power, and I was like, oh shit, I can now I can buy anything and put anything anywhere. Uh, which I even still have a lot more points to put in, so I don't know what to get. Again, I do want to replace a lot of these with like premium Orican whatever. Like, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're like the better version of all of the mods. Like the, the premium silver variant. So there's like a one for vitality, there's a better version of that, and etc, etc, etc. But for right now, we're getting by with the trash. <laughs> okay, with the trash ass shit. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe button uh, below me as well as two videos to my far right. Thank you so much for your time, and goodbye.